Over a year ago, I moved into this new house and it was a blank slate. I decided to mainly use Lutron smart light switches because of the excellent reliability, but I also installed some less expensive smart light switches to see if they would work well, and for the most part, they have. So now I'm wondering, did I waste my money going with the more expensive Lutron switches, or was it the right call? So as you may know, Lutron smart switches are known for being high quality since they're very reliable and they're extremely compatible with other smart home platforms. Like seriously, they work with almost everything. Here's the thing though, after using them for a year, turns out they're not perfect. A couple of months ago, some of the lights in my kitchen were becoming unresponsive, even when I tried to control them in the app. This went on for about a week until I finally rebooted it. And yes, you can reboot a light switch. Most light switches have an air gap that you can pull out and push back in. This physically separates it from power and usually solves any issues going on. After this, I had no more problems with those lights or any other Lutron light switches. It could be a fluke, but I would move their reliability score from an A plus to an A, but they're still extremely reliable because they don't need the cloud to work. Also, these are very easy for my family to use, so they have a high spouse approval factor, but they are expensive at $60 each, which is why I'm wondering if it was really worth it or did I spend too much? Let's see how these less expensive light switches stack up against the more expensive Lutron. Starting off first with the Casa switches. After my last light switch comparison, I liked these so much that I considered putting these all over my house. I mean, they're only 20 bucks and I could have saved so much money going this route. Plus they're still highly compatible and easy to use. So you might be wondering, why didn't you just originally go with these instead of Lutron? Well, they use Wi-Fi and I was concerned about reliability. That's why over a year ago, I installed five Casa switches in my bathroom to test them out long term. What I found is that they're about 95% reliable. Well, I just kind of made up that number, but I did have to do a soft reset on the light switch a couple of times over the last year. It's similar to the air gap fix, but this is just a little button underneath the light switch. But overall, they've been working extremely well for me. I also have really good Wi-Fi in my house, so if I didn't have that, the reliability could be lower. My only other complaint is that it can be a little slow or delayed when using automations, and that's because it uses Wi-Fi in the cloud. It doesn't happen all the time, but when it does, it's very noticeable. So yeah, I've had a few small issues, but these five light switches in the bathroom are $100 total, compared with the $300 it would have cost with Lutron. Is it worth paying three times the cost for Lutron? Well, for some of you, I would say it's not worth paying that much more for Lutron. But let me keep explaining, and I promise it will all make sense in a minute. The other affordable smart light switch I've also been using in my house is from Zoos. The reason I chose them is that they are extremely reliable and they work locally so you don't need the cloud. They basically fix many of the issues with the Casa light switches, plus I like how they just blend in and look like a normal light switch. Zoos switches are also very customizable. I can override the on off switch, that way if I have some smart bulbs connected to the light switch, they never lose power. But the on off buttons on the Zoo switch can be programmed to still control the smart bulbs, so it feels like a normal switch. And you can even use multiple presses to control scenes and automations. It's awesome. After using the Zoo switches for a while, I did have to cut power to the on off switch once to reconnect it. But the dimmer switch in the hallway, I've had zero issues with it. When comparing it with Lutron, it's almost half the price and can be used in a three-way switch configuration without needing any extra switches. But it's not as intuitive to dim the lights compared with the arrow buttons on the Lutron. In fact, I don't even think my family knows how to dim the Zoo switch. Hey, do you know how to dim this light? What? No, you can't dim this light. Is this some sort of dad joke? Hold on a second. Well then, how do you do it? That's how you do it. You hold it for a second. Oh, Dad. The Zoo switch uses Z-Wave instead of Wi-Fi. So I need a Z-Wave hub like SmartThings, Hubitat, or a Z-Wave USB stick for Home Assistant. It's great that I'm not reliant on a company to stay in business for me to keep using these, since I have so many options. The question I have to ask myself is if 
I want to still be using Z-Wave in 5 or 10 years. I don't plan on swapping out all my light switches often, so I might be stuck using Z-Wave for a really long time if I put Zeus switches everywhere. With all that said, it's time to do some soul searching. Should I have used one of those less expensive light switches instead of Lutron throughout my house? Knowing what I know now, a year later, and realizing how reliable these other switches have been for a fraction of the cost, part of me wishes I would have spent less. I probably would have had the exact same experience using a less expensive light switch throughout my house over this last year. But like I said, we don't know what the smart home will be like in 5 or 10 years. Will we still be using Zigbee and Z-Wave? Will Matter be a thing and we're using Thread? Will Casa switches be still supported? Will Kanye West be president? I'm just kidding. We definitely know Kanye will be president. This is why Lutron seems like the safest bet, even if it is an expensive one. So looking at the big picture, I am happy I went with Lutron, but I think Casa could work great for a majority of you out there, especially if you're on a budget. And if you don't have a problem using a Z-Wave hub for years, then Zeus is also a solid, affordable option too. Keep in mind, both of those require a neutral wire to work. So what do you guys think? Is Lutron worth the cost, or should you go with a less expensive option? Let me know down in the comments. Now I'm planning on doing a 10-year review, so hit that subscribe button to not miss it. And I'll see you guys in 2031. So wait, you're telling me we spent way more money on Lutron because you don't know what the smart home will be like in 10 years? Well, let me give you the long version. You know, in 10 years when you're in your 40s, the smart home Yikes, will- Yikes, stop. We are done talking about this. Well, that was easy.